All right, y'all, before we get into this video, I want y'all to know I'm about to react to the new episode of Baddies, and I'm about to put it on the Patreon. And also, I have a lot on the Patreon that a lot of y'all have not seen if y'all not subscribed to me on Patreon. But the, to the people that are, I need y'all to tell me what other videos y'all want me to react to so I can give y'all what y'all want, especially if you want something random, especially with a lot of, like, fighting, um, something that is just like, all right. This don't need to go on YouTube. Please comment down below on what you would like me to react to. Make sure you tap into the Patreon or just go ahead and subscribe to me on Patreon and then tell me what you would like to me to react to on Patreon, okay? Simple. One, two, three steps. All right, I needed to let y'all know that before we started this video. Also, I appreciate y'all for, you know, everything that you do. I may not say it enough, but I want you to know you are appreciated. Yet it. Enjoy the video. What's up, y'all? I got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. So before we get into this video, I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all for tuning in the way you tune in because you could be anywhere else, but you'll be here with me. I appreciate y'all for that. All right, we about to get into it. So first of all, let's start off with Ashawn. She was at Bluefus's house last night at his, uh, y'all see, this is the MILF Music Studio, home sweet home, Okay. So, Krishan has made her way back to Bluefus's house. They are together. Carlissa is in her feelings. Hello. She said, uh, Bluefus daddy, the only one with permission to be at his house, per his HOA, but carry on. And also, Carlissa said that Krishan is lying. So, Krishan has already called her bluff. Hello. Then she also let it be known that she currently has a restraining order. Hello. Out on Krishan. I have a restraining order. I have restraining order court. So no, ma'am, I can't get nobody's kids that threaten me. All right. Took a restraining order out on Krishan. All right. This is her talking about it as well. Up. That's on him. She's saying that this is on him with Krishan and him being together, but she's also saying that that ain't love, blah, blah, blah. Okay. F our baby dad. Okay. Miss Jaden was in the club and she said F our baby daddy. Uh, she was in there with somebody else, I'm sure, because <clears throat> I know she ain't talking about Krishan, because girl, Krishan is currently in love and just head over heels with her new, her new baby father. Bluefus. All right. Basically, she don't know what the hell going on with um, Krishan and Blueface. And uh, we don't either. All right. Krishan said what well, she had to say. We ain't heard from Blue yet. We will soon, I'm sure. But anyway, let's get into this situation. Woman tells a shocking story about how she found out she was adopted and what happened next. Let's get it. It's a coincidence that you think about a lot. This story is crazy. So I grew up the only child, my mom, dad, and me. And since I was younger, I used to be like, man, I wish I had sisters and brothers right. and things like that. As I got older, I used to always wish I had nieces and nephews right. and things like that. I wanted to be an auntie, uh -huh. you know, and things like that. Right. And so 2014, my mom passed. 2020, my daddy passed. Rest in peace. And a couple of years, fast forward a couple of years later, I was trying to renovate a house. So my friend turned me on to this contract that she knew. This contract knew someone that I knew and my parents knew from a long time ago. All right. And he, the contract that tells the person like, hey, that I know him. He's like, yeah, I know her. Tell her to give me a call. Right. So I call him and we get to chit chatting. And while we're chit chatting on the phone, he says, I remember, I'm sorry. He says, your mother and daddy love you. Your mom and daddy love you. Don't let no one tell you any different. Right. I remember when they first adopted you. What? Adopted? Mind you, I am 34 years old now. Wait a minute. I did not expect this to go where it went. Okay, I'm invested. I did not know I was adopted. I thought my life was my life. Like, I thought that was my biological mom and daddy. I was the only child. My family was my biological family. Like, what you mean adopted? Like, huh? Didn't tell you. No one told crazy. me. They took it to the grave. Even after they took it to their grave, nobody in the family said anything. Everybody just continued on like normal. Now, don't get it twisted. Now, my mom and daddy was some, 
they were some good people. They loved me. They okay. loved me. So I don't regret them being my mom and daddy. Okay. But, you know, it's, of course, it's crazy. This yes. is 34 years. My life just changing 34 years. Right. So um, I reach out to people or whatever, you know, asking them, like, why you didn't tell me I was adopted? I reach out to my family. So why you didn't tell me I was adopted? No one told me. I'm asking them, do they know my mom? The person who snitched just dead ass wrong. Mom and daddy and things like that. Well, who my biological mom and daddy is. And they're like, no, we don't know. And so I reach out to DFAX. DFAX gives me a number. I go to the local DFAX office. Yeah. They give me a number to reach out to. <clears throat> and it's this agency that helps families reconnect that have been adopted. Right. And so I reach out. I feel like the paperwork fast forward three months later. The lady calls me on the phone and said, Hey, I just got off the phone with your biological mother. She's so excited. Let me give you a little background. She has three girls, one boy. Oh. Um, she said when she was younger, you know, she used to get in a little trouble. But she since then changed her life around, became a pastor. Okay. Um, I can tell you her first name. I can't tell you her last name until she signed the consent papers. Okay. Um, I'm going to say Jay because that's the first initial of her name. Her name is Jay. She also asks, um, can you send me a picture of you so I could send to her. Right. And, you know, we chit chat some more and that's it. And so after we hang up the phone, <laughs> I call the daycare lady. My kids go to this daycare, I've been going to this daycare for the last what five, six years. Right. And you know me and the daycare lady, we cool. And so I call her and I'm like, hey, you know, I just got off the phone with adoption people. Mm. They said they talked to my biological mother. They said, um, she got three girls, one boy. Don't you got three girls, one boy? She said, Yep. I said they um, said that she used to get in trouble back in the day, is and the, then she since became a pastor. Is the daycare? I said you told me the same story. The daycare lady is her mama. I am behooveth. You used to get in trouble back in the day. You became a pastor. She said, "Yep." And so um, I said, "And he said her name is such and such. She got the same name as you." She said, "Caroline, it's real." So I'm like, what you mean is real? I know it's real. I, I know I'm adopted. No, Caroline is real. I'm still green. What you mean I'm is real? I'm your mama. <laughs> I know it's real. Caroline is real. I just called to tell you what happened. I know it's real. She says, Caroline, I'm your mother. What? What? <laughs> what you mean you are mama? But like, mind you. I've been going to this daycare. Well, my kids been going to the daycare for the last what five, six years. Um, God bless the dead. Her nephew passed away like a couple of years ago. We went to sit with the family and everything because I'm cool with the daycare people. You know, I when things like that happen, I show my face and everything. I'm sitting amongst the family and everything. Right. You know, like hanging out, sitting in the living room. Meanwhile, them your cousins and stuff. So, talking, chit chatting with everybody. So, you know, this is crazy. So um, I do ask her, did you know all along? And she's like, no. She was like, they called me. They just got off the phone with me, you know, of course. What? You know, they called her or whatever to talk to her. And I said, you know, I'm still in shock. I said, well, let me know. I said, let me know what they said on the phone. I said, what they said? And she said, did you send them that picture yet? You remember when the lady said she asked for a picture? Yeah. So I was like, what? You got to be kidding me. That's right a now. blessing. Like, you got to be kidding me. Like, what? I don't know if it's coincidence because I really believe in God. I'm, girl, that was Jesus and the universe. They work together. That's amazing. Oh, my God. With my whole heart. But God don't play no games. Mm -mm. Like, for real. <laughs> like, it's crazy. And I definitely have nieces and nephews. Um, sisters and brothers. Yes. Aunties and stuff like that. Um. Yes. Yeah. It's crazy. I'm so happy. But for I still her. love my mom and daddy who took care of me. Now that's never gonna change. They still my mom and daddy. But yeah, life is crazy. And God is great. Got a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> What's a coincidence that you think about a lot? That's dope. That's dope. I had to put that at the end, y'all. Y'all know I need my little eight minutes or whatever. But I was like, let's see what 
fine. I really didn't watch it. One of my good sisters, Kendra, just sent it to me, chat, and I wanted to know what happened. But that's amazing. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that down in the comment section below, chat. You just never know. And patience is really a virtue. Because she could have been very upset and, you know, felt felt the way and, you know what I'm saying, just was real. She could have been real nasty about it. Um, I mean, you can't be too nasty because, you know, rest in peace to the parents. But, you know, she still could have felt the way. It still could have ran a toll on her and she didn't allow that to happen. And, you know, she handled her business and had patience and was grateful. And that's just that was a beautiful story. I loved it. Y'all let me know what y'all was thinking down in the comment section below. Has anything like that ever happened to y'all? You know what I'm saying? Let me know. I want to know. We are done with this video, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.